growing up, I never knew that I would be the real one. Even after all the things I went through, man, I'm still one. After they sat me right in my back, I told them deal done. Welcome to my channel. This might be the first time that you're watching. If not, welcome back. Today, I am starting a brand new theme on this channel, and it's art related. I grew up a graphic designer, self taught. I eventually went to college and majored in graphic design before I dropped out because I couldn't get grades right. <laughs> but welcome to my channel. Today, I am showing you a behind the scenes time lapse of me compiling my most recent uh, biblical movie poster for Exodus 14, 21, where Moses parts the Red Sea. Now, I knew this was gonna be a challenge and I knew it was gonna be tough from the start, but I had the idea in my head and I tried to make it happen. I like to push myself out of my comfort zone, praise God, and it actually came out really well. The little things here and there that I changed, but I decided to leave them and just let it be a testimony to my process and my imperfections thus far as I'm continuing to grow as an artist. Now. I've been wanting to show people the work that goes into this stuff because when they see the end result, they're like, uh, you know, oh, it looks great. Not really understanding what it took to get to the end point. So this is a beautiful way for me to show people. And I compiled two hours into 12 minutes. I'm gonna narrate here and there. And while you guys are listening, you're actually gonna be hearing some of my own music, some release that you can get on Spotify and all other music platforms. I'll put it down in the description and some that are unreleased, depending on what I kind of think. I'm about to edit it right now, we'll find out. But thank you guys for coming to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I'm going to start showing you all the behind the scenes. And if you guys want to see all the superhero movie posters and all the things that I've already done, they're on my Instagram at 949designed. You'll be able to find me there. I got about nine pictures up so far. Uh, and yeah, man, they look great. They look awesome. And I would really appreciate you guys to go check that out. But as of right now, Let's get into this video. I'm going to show you guys the process and uh, yeah, join me or follow me or whatever they say on YouTube nowadays. But <laughs> Let's get it. So when I started off, I knew that I wanted to start with water and a wave to begin the walls of water. Now, if you guys don't know the story in the book of Exodus in chapter 14, the Lord led Moses and the Israelites through the Red Sea to escape the pursuing Egyptians. And when the Lord told Moses to stretch his hand out over the sea, the Lord held back the water with a strong east wind and divided them literally and created a dry land pathway so that the Israelites could safely escape. Hallelujah, baby! So I knew that I had to get some walls of water. Now I can't paint, so I could not replicate what I saw in all of the other images online. So I knew that I needed to find a wave that I just thought looked massive and mighty and just crazy. Something I would never body surf. So I found these waves and I started copying them six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, something around there to make it look realistic and quite honestly it looked dang good so once i got the water set up to what i liked at the moment i tried to go with that dry lake bed didn't look good i searched for another image and eventually come across this one and i'm like bam i can work with that i like the the elevation in the background it just looks like that's where you want to get to if you're in the bottom of a lake bed elevation is your end destination so i see that and i'm like okay we got to get rid of this road right here though i know they didn't have that back then Kind of blend it out, make it look believable. Eventually, come to a spot where I'm like, damn, it looks good. So now, let me find a sky, stormy. I kind of wanted to set the atmosphere as intense, epic, you know, daunting. But as you'll see, I implement a light in it that just looks like the guiding light, the Lord God. And it kind of just really makes this piece what it ends up being, which I loved. And now I'm trying to kind of change the colors of everything to match the mood. I'm trying to make the ground reflect the color of the sky and just kind of add that um, effect to this image. Now I'm starting to create the pathway. I'm kind of working with it. I'm kind of trying to get more to a point that I am more comfortable with that I'm liking. And so far, so good. Now, one sec, I got a burp. Uh, you know, I apologize, but do I really apologize? Not really. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Now, the background, it didn't look far away enough. It didn't make this scale look big enough. It didn't make this look mighty enough, which it definitely was far more than I was able to capture. But what I did was I shrunk the background to make it look further away, to make it look more massive and more daunting and just more miraculous. Now I come to a point and blend it out, make it look right, looks good, looks a lot better. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, 
kind of trying to go in and make these shadows. Not sure where I'm going to put them. But, you know, as I make this artwork, I want you guys to know that I, I, I make it hoping and expecting that the Lord will help me and take control and guide me, especially when it comes to anything that's biblical like this. I love just working with the confidence that the Lord is with me while I make this stuff. And I kind of let him guide me and I kind of just follow that voice in my head. And um, when it comes to making things biblical like this and holy that edify God, I, I, I it's pretty clear when the voice is leading me, uh, the voice of God and the Holy Spirit. So I just try to stick to it and be confident in what I'm hearing and what I'm learning and what I'm feeling. And when I was right there, when I just made those waves taller, I was just going to copy and paste just to add more waves in, in, you know, in the, to the bottom right and to the left side of the image. But before I was able to scale it and move it away, I just tilted it and it literally fell into place perfectly and it made it look even better even crazier even mightier even deeper water just nuts and i was cracking up i'm not kidding i was cracking up so like i said i add this guiding light in the background now i'm trying to make a, the light shine through here and trying to figure that out but that light is beautiful and now i, it, I don't recall it saying anything about this in exodus 14 but that light symbolizes the lord you know, Moses is following God. He's trusting in God, the guiding light, the Holy Spirit. You know, it, it symbolizes that, look, follow me, listen to me. I got you. I'm on the other end of this. I promised you this would happen. Trust in me. And it really added an amazing effect to this image. So you see me adding the shadows and the highlights. And I'm kind of just trying to make it look as realistic as I can. I'm starting to get better with these solid uh, color adjustment layers, I think is what they're called. I don't know. I've been watching a bunch of Benny Productions videos and all these graphic designers and they use a lot of them. So I'm trying to implement it the best I can. And it's actually helped me a lot. So I'm going to get better and better with them as time goes on. Now I'm trying to make this light look a little more believable, you know, having a little bit of issues with it for a second. Then I figure out that my, um, you know, masking layer color was gray and not black. So it wasn't fully getting rid of it adding these shadows to the waves that are being cast by this light. Just trying to make it look believable, you know, kind of wrestling with things for a little bit. But, you know, some of these things when you make this are not going to look good. And sometimes they're not going to look good for a long time. But you got to trust in the process because, you know, by the end, you will refine it so much that it eventually will come to be what you had in your head. Now, my art teacher from school always used to tell me, kill it or make it live. So you either hang in there long enough and make it work or you just quit and start over. And I wasn't going to give up because we were really far into this and I liked what I was seeing. But I had a problem trying to find a Moses that would work. And obviously, you could tell I did not stick with that. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe we just find a crowd of Israelites or a crowd of people and maybe just not do a Moses because I can't find a good enough one. But I don't give up. I keep looking. I almost settle on this guy. But we come up across this one. And now, as soon as I saw it, I originally had passed on it because I wanted an image of his full body. But once I realized I wasn't going to get it, I then realized that this perspective is perfect. He's actually facing perfectly in a direction that I have already illustrated. I, I'm not lying when I say it's the grace of God that some of these things come to be. I'm sure a lot of you can testify to that, even whether you believe in God or not. But how just some things miraculously come to work out in the end. So this, I kind of replicate them. I duplicate, I, I copy his garment. I, I put it on the other side to fill it in because mind you, this is going to be mostly silhouette. So detail is not crazy. You're not really going to see too much because I'm going to be throwing shadows on his back. But right here, you see me kind of getting the highlights right. And I'm like, all right, well, let's kind of get... Once I put the shadow on, I'm like, okay, we got to fix that robe. And there's a line kind of going up. So let's fill that in and eventually i do i think right here yeah i'm like hold up and so we get the bottom right more realistic it looks like it's more of a robe kind of moving kind of draping you know doing what robes do especially with the wind blowing and the oceans or you know the sea splitting <laughs> but kind of trying to make it look more realistic trying to add a gradient to the shadow you know make it darker on the left just kind of trying to find a right balance now I come to a place where I'm pretty happy with it. Now, mind you, there are some things I would change if I did it again. But mind you, I left these in here just to, you know, 
you could sit here and, and try and be a quote unquote perfectionist all day, but that'll take forever. Like I said, this took two hours, so I would like to get this done in a decent amount of time. But come to making this shadow, and I really like the method I used. Um, I copy and pasted them, put a color overlay, perspective changed them, and then used blur gallery and tilt shift. And it actually made that shadow look pretty dang good. You know, I've been getting better and better with shadows, and I, I'm more proud with how this turned out. Put a little bit of a vignette or a vignette, or how if you're French, or you know, I don't know how you want to say it, but. I put a little bit of one in the sky to kind of give there more of a gradient in the sky towards that light. Now, giving Moses a staff because I needed to. It's essential to the imagery. It's essential to the scripture. And I'd probably be, you know, I mean, I'd probably be an idiot. Not probably. I'd be an idiot to leave it out. And I would be doing God a disservice. And I'd be doing the story a disservice if I didn't implement a staff. And I thought that staff looked great, by the way. I thought that just looked like it came straight off a tree. Something like I've found multiple times on hikes and, you know, Yosemite and all kinds of cool places. So once I get to that point, kind of want to add just one more flare just to kind of really draw your eye to that light with those flares streaking across the screen it kind of just pulls you especially with the orientation of moses and the alleyway and the, the pathway through the the water compositionally it, it made it a great little cherry on top now i try to i try to make the title moses i try to make it the red sea nothing was hitting that really wasn't making this if i want to make a movie i want to like make it look like a movie poster i want to give it a name a name that just sounds like something so I set on Exodus. This is from Exodus 14, 21. And so originally I was just going to go with Exodus. I throw these movie credits down there, which I like to do because sometimes it makes it look good. You know, if the composition asks for it. This time I started to come to the conclusion that it was kind of scrunching me in too much. Eventually I remove them, but I like the font that I settle on. I've used it a couple times in other posters, but it just has a nice rustic old uh, vibe to it. So I start trying to kind of figure out the spacing, the composition. Am I going to put it in the middle? Am I going to bounce it to the right? What am I going to do? And eventually I bring it back to the middle. Get rid of those dang horrible credits. I maybe put 1421. I'm like, that don't look right. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe Exodus 14. And I knew I was getting somewhere. I like the red. I like the implications of chapter 14, but I didn't like the number there. It just, it, it drew too much attention. And I wanted to focus on Exodus. So I'm like, you know what? Let's write 14 out and let's keep the red. Because I like the way that sounded. I like the way that looked. Exodus 14 sounds like a cool movie. Then eventually I put a little drop shadow behind it. I liked where I got. I, I would have moved it down a couple more, you know, taps on the bottom of the, you know, arrow keys. But I left it. Added a little bit more shadows. Added a little bit more light. Kind of just did a few more changes. Added a little bit of creeping glow around Moses too, just to give it a little more of a gradient. And then I'm like, you know what? A good movie poster needs a good quote. I took the quote from Exodus 5, where the Lord told Moses to tell the Pharaoh that God had said, let my people go. So I end up coming to the conclusion of the composition. I then export it to where I, this is my format that I make my Instagram post for, which you guys, if you haven't checked out, 949 designed on Instagram. And yeah, export it. And here we go. This is the final product, Exodus 14. Let my people go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, I don't have any high expectations at all, but I want to document this process and I want to document all of the things that I'm doing with these kind of creations and graphic designs. I think it's a really cool way for one, for you guys to see the creative process. Two, if you're a designer yourself to learn and just kind of pick up on the little things that I do. If, if I do anything well at all. And three, it's a cool way for me to document my experience and my journey through this art creation, graphic design, and YouTube kind of experience that I'm heading on. So, and also, I do not want to gatekeep any of this information to myself. If there's anything I have to offer or that I can give to you guys and impart to you, whether it's knowledge or wisdom or just experience or shortcuts or anything, I want you guys to know it. I don't want to hold anything from back from you guys. Like, don't try and steal my sauce. What are you trying to steal my... <laughs> I'm not one of those guys. So I hope you just are able to see everything. Uh, I'll do in-depth tutorials in the future to come. 
but as soon as i go to make one of these things i just want to press record and just capture all of this stuff so i can share it with you guys and also like i said keep it for me in the future as like a portfolio kind of thing. but i want to say thank you once again if you made it this far and yeah like i said go check out my instagram you'll find all of these posters all over my instagram there's nine of them already ironically nine for nine there'll be a tenth one and probably more when you see this but Thank you so much for watching. I don't want to keep you here any longer. Make sure you guys subscribe if you like this channel and you liked what I'm doing. There will be biblical and non-biblical content, original and inspired, all kinds of things. But I just wanted to get my foot in the door and get the ball rolling with this video. So, like I said, thank you. I'll see you guys soon. Until then, stay safe. God bless. And Godspeed. Peace out, everybody. Who said them Christian rappers ain't rapping hard? They can't even shoot. Man, I get the words from the Lord straight in the booth. Speaking all this spiritual conviction. You can't even move, might as well not even speak at all, you can't speak the truth If you ain't from the kingdom, 